Guardians of the Galaxy 2014 Earth 1988 In a hospital waiting room, young Peter Quill, Wyatt Olaf, sits plugged into his Walkman, immersed in the tunes of awesome mixtape number one. His grandfather, Greg Henry, fetches him to bid farewell to his terminally ill mother grappling with a brain tumor. As she imparts a parting gift, she shares a poignant revelation that Peter's father was an angel, likening him to that celestial lineage. Despite her final plea for his hand, Peter, overwhelmed with fear, withdraws. In that somber moment, his mother passes away, leaving the grief-stricken Peter to flee, only to be unexpectedly whisked away by a passing spaceship. Morag, 2014 On the distant planet Morag, the grown-up Peter Quill, known as Star-Lord, Chris Pratt, embarks on a quest for a mysterious orb, all the while immersed in the strains of awesome mixtape number one. Retrieving the orb from a laser enclosure triggers an ambush by Korath the Pursuer, Jimin Hoon Su, and his cohorts. Surviving the confrontation, Peter reaches his ship, the Milano, and makes a daring escape. Yandu Yudanta, Michael Rooker, Peter's surrogate father leading the Ravager platoon that raised him, demands Peter hand over the orb. Defiant, Peter opts to sell it independently. After the call ends, Yandu's crew chastises him for his leniency towards Peter despite numerous betrayals. Unfazed, Yandu is more intrigued by discovering others interested in the orb. Korath reports back to the Dark Aster, a Kree warship commanded by the genocidal tyrant Ronan the Accuser, Lee Pace. Seeking revenge for the deaths of his father and grandfather, Ronan plans to destroy the planet Xander and enlist the orb to barter with Thanos. Learning of Peter's possession of the orb, Ronan dispatches Gamora, Zoe Saldana, Thanos' daughter, to retrieve it, despite objections from Nebula Karen Gillan, her resentful sister. On the planet Xander, Peter takes the orb to a broker, Christopher Fairbank, and asks what it is, because Ronan's goons are after it too. On hearing Ronan's name, the broker immediately backs out, not wanting anything to do with the orb, and removes Peter from the shop. Outside, Gamora jumps Peter and tries to retrieve the orb herself. As they fight, they are ambushed by Rocket Raccoon, Bradley Cooper, and Groot, Vin Diesel, seeking to claim a bounty on Peter. Stan Lee has a cameo appearance as an old man on Xander, chatting up a young lady. Rocket calls him a pervert. It's not too long before Peter, Gamora, Rocket, and Groot are arrested by the Nova Corps, and after processing, are sent to a space prison called the KYLN. Pretty much everyone in prison wants to kill Gamora because she's the daughter of Thanos. One of the inmates, Drax the Destroyer, Dave Bautista, has a vendetta against her because Ronan killed his wife and daughter, so he wants to avenge them by taking the life of one of Ronan's family members in return. Gamora explains that she's not related to Ronan, and she was planning on double-crossing him. Peter argues in Gamora's favor. Meanwhile, Ronan is summoned to meet Thanos at his at his domain in an asteroid field. Ronan reports to Thanos, Josh Brolin, that Gamora is a traitor and kills one of Thanos' underlings for showing disrespect to him. Thanos tells him to take care of her and get the orb, threatening to kill him if he doesn't. He also notes that Gamora is his favorite daughter, which angers Nebula. Back at the KY Lin, Gamora has a plan to sell the orb to someone else. Peter, Rocket, and Groot agree to help and split the reward. Rocket has a plan to escape the prison. He needs one of the guard's wrist devices, a prisoner's prosthetic leg, and a battery from a tall column in the prison. As he explains that it's very important to take the battery last, Groot grabs it first. The alarms go off and security droids fly in. Gamora goes to get a wrist device as Peter negotiates for the prisoner's leg. Drax decides to join in the escape, realizing that eventually Ronan will go after Gamora and then he can kill Ronan himself. Everyone gets the item they agreed to get and they all make it to a guard station near the top of the prison. Rocket is surprised that Peter actually got the leg and says that he, Rocket, was only kidding, and he didn't really need it. Just as it seems that they have run out of time, Rocket rigs up the stuff to turn off the gravity in the prison and to use the security droids as jets to fly the guard station out of the prison. They escape, but Peter leaves the others, telling Rocket that he left something behind. It turns out that he is retrieving his Walkman with the awesome mixtape from one of the guards. Yondu goes to his broker and finds out Peter still has the orb. Threatening the broker with his arrow, 
he gets the man to reveal where Peter might have traveled. Everyone on Peter's ship gets to know one another better. They don't like each other at all. Soon they arrive at Nowhere, a space station built in the severed head of a celestial, to meet with the Collector. While they wait for their appointment, Drax, Rocket, and Groot get drunk and gamble. Gamora and Peter bond over music. He explains that his mom made him the mixtape of her favorite songs. She listens and likes it. He asks her to dance, but she doesn't trust him. He says it reminds him of an old fable about other people who didn't dance, called Footloose. He makes a pass at her, but she says she's not one of the doe-eyed girls he's used to, and she won't fall for his pelvic sorcery. Before they can meet with the Collector, Drax, Rocket, and Groot, all drunk, get into a big fight. Drax thinks Groot is dumb and Rocket is tired of people calling him a rodent. Peter talks them out of fighting. The Collector's assistant fetches them, and they all go to meet him. Drax goes off on his own and makes a call to Ronan. The Collector, Benicio del Toro, has a giant assortment of collectibles from all over the galaxy, including Howard the Duck and Cosmo the Soviet space dog. The Collector puts the orb into a kind of lathe, which unscrews the two halves of the orb to reveal that it's a capsule for an Infinity Stone. The Collector explains that the Infinity Stones are six singularities created during the Big Bang. There are more of them, and they can destroy planets. The Collector's assistant suddenly grabs the stone, trying to kill him. The Infinity Stone is poisoning her, and then she and everything in the area blow up. Most of the people survive, along with Cosmo. Peter and the others manage to escape with the orb holding the Infinity Stone. They decide the safest place to take the stone is Nova Headquarters. It's too dangerous to be anywhere else. Suddenly the group is ambushed by Ronan and his crew, responding to Drax's call. Yondu's Ravager platoon also shows up, having tracked Peter down from the broker. Gamora, Rocket and Cole take off in single passenger ships while Nebula and some of Ronan's goons chase after them. Drax tries to fight Ronan, but gets beaten up badly. Nebula chases Gamera's ship above the atmosphere and blows it up. Nebula gets the Infinity Stone and leaves Gamora floating in space to die. Peter realizes that he can't allow Gamora to die, so he calls Yondu to tell him where he is, then exits his ship and floats to Gamora, where he gives her his gas mask to keep her alive. Yondu arrives and collects Peter and Gamora with a tractor beam right before they can freeze to death. This is where we see that Yondu's ship is the same ship that abducted Peter as a child. Meanwhile, on board the Dark Aster, Ronan tells Thanos that now that he, Ronan, has the Infinity Stone, he can cut Thanos out of the deal. Instead, he will destroy Xander himself and then go after Thanos. He puts the Infinity Stone into his hammer. No. Oh.